Let's start off by saying this video is educational in the sense that I'll be sharing what you need to know about ROMs. The internet is a huge library of data and what you do hereafter is up to you. But what I won't be showing you is how to directly get ROMs because well, on YouTube, you can get in trouble for that kind of stuff. But on Patreon, well, that's a different story. To start, I'm going to talk about the what. Read-only memory files are game files dumped via means that we can literally read them on whatever device or emulator that supports the file. But the nerd stuff aside, what ones do you need to look for, you ask? Well, .gb is Game Boy, .gbc is Game Boy Color, .gba is Game Boy Advance, .nes is Nintendo Entertainment System, .snes is Super Nintendo, .nds is Nintendo DS, and .bingq and .iso. Well, the last few are sometimes confusing to some because we also have .chd, which is a compressed .bingq file or ISO file, but then there's also compressed .rvz files, which are for Wii and other files, so it gets a bit confusing when you search these out. Well, I mean, dump them. Which leads me to where you can get them. Well, if you jump over to Patreon and become a member, then you might be able to get some more help with that because I have a full video about this on there. Now for the how and how. Well, some of the how is part of the where, but if you have multiple games like I do and have a dumping tool, dumping program, or a method of any sort, as you can just dump games by a DVD burner and your computer, there are so many ways to dump your games physically. Now, this is only if countries allow it. Some countries don't allow you to back up any of your files at all. Now for the why. Well, the main reason is game preservation. It's a huge deal. We don't do this because we're causing harm. We do this for multiple, 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 multiple reasons. My main reason, because I have so many, these games, one day, they'll be forever not functioning. It may not be in our lifetime, but this is where preserving them for eternity via those ones and zeros on multiple hard drives across the world come into play. We live in a digital era. And do you think Diz? Okay, maybe I shouldn't say their name, but you know that popular cartoon company? They had to have dumped their VHS tapes to play them on their Diz platform. You know what I mean? So some companies tried to do this too. But the funny thing about this is that they try to emulate them on their own hardware, <coughs> Nintendo Switch. So who is the hypocrite now, Splintendo? You can't tell me there's original hardware for my Super Nintendo in that Switch Lite. So you came here for ROMs, and I'm sorry I couldn't actually show you how to get them on here, because, well, it's pretty obvious that it's frowned upon to show you how to get them via those ones and zeros. The whole reason why we want to use these game files on emulation or even on our actual hardware, which yes, we can use all of these games on our actual hardware, is because either eShops have been closed down, physical game stores do not sell them anymore, or other means that, well, sometimes they just cost too much. So if you want to learn a little bit more, become a Patreon member, because I can show some things on there that, well, YouTube will not let me show and I don't want to get in trouble by the YouTube ninjas, because I guess they exist as well. I hope this was very educational, because that's what it was meant for. Not to harm, just to educate what ROMs are, and ways that you can get them in 2024. Bye!